Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning November 6, 2023. I do want to start off with a an apology. <laughs> I know that I have been getting these weeklies up late. I've had to skip over a few dailies. And if you don't know, the reason for that is that I, for the past several months actually, because I had to go move into a temporary spot because of move details not working out. And then I moved at a cross country move here in the United States. So that's a big thing. <laughs> All right. So again, I do apologize. I want to give you an update. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. We have the 1111 portal coming up that is very related to Archangel Metatron manifestation or learning your lesson over again. But in general, this can be a rise in your frequency. So take advantage of that. Know that that's coming up. Okay. So there is that first part. Secondly, services. Um, we can, because now we're coming up on, you know, holidays and all of that. That's very Archangel Gabriel. It would take forever to sit here and <laughs> talk about every Archangel and who you could be working with right now. So if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, you can do that via a live reading session. Or I am teaching angel mediumship that is for one hour courses or the one hour course on connecting with your angels. And then I have other courses where I walk you through connecting with and working with various archangels. All of those, if you want any of those services, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Reason for that is it's just simpler than trying to load all that on the website and then people are going to choose the wrong thing, uh, you know, because maybe it doesn't make sense or they do kind of blend together. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of confusion that could happen with that. So just email me. If you want a standard reading, those can be booked at my website, angelsouls444.com. If you are on my email list, I give you first shot at promo codes. Okay. Those come to your email. So just, you know, think about that or make sure you're watching the community tab, especially on YouTube. And of course, if you like this content, liking, sharing, and subscribing helps me out a ton. Okay. There's all that out of the way. Thank you if you hung in there. <laughs> and what I'll do here is I'm going to do a general message and then I will pull one card for each of the astrological signs. That doesn't exactly match up to what I'm doing here with angel readings, but it's what people are used to, so we will roll with it. Okay, topsy-turvy. It can be a very tumultuous week, and yes, that would be personally and out in the world. So we have Hello from Heaven. Whenever this card pops out, this is Archangel Osriel. Osriel is all about transformation. He's known as the Archangel of Death, which I don't think is all that fair. Okay. Um, but <laughs> that's what he is associated with, helping you transform. So there could be uh, an ending of sorts this week. This can also talk about all the souls that are crossing over in various conflicts right now. So this says your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Now, this does not indicate that something bad is going to happen to someone in your family. That's not what this is. Okay. First and foremost, when that came out, I felt like big losses around the world. People transitioning. Okay. <sighs> okay, hold on. There was something. Again, the U.S. is... So this would take hours to sit here and bring all this forward. But the U.S. obviously is transitioning itself. And so people here are acting out. I just realized I'm wearing a black shirt, sitting in a black chair with a black background. Do I just look like a floating head? Sorry. It's what I'm wearing. I'm sorry. Anyway, back to the more serious stuff. So and people are acting out. So there could be things happening here in the United States. Let's get more. Let's get more on this. Beloved one. This is Archangel Shamuel. So Shamuel is known as the Archangel of Love in general. 
But Shamuel helps us find the self-love, reconnecting to ourselves, to reach our highest purpose, to be our best selves, to reach our potential. Okay. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. It's interesting. So for some of you, there could be guidance from someone who has already crossed over, who's coming through for you. They want to let you know that they're fine. They love you. I'm pretty sure that's probably the intention for that card even being in the deck. But this, you know, hello from heaven, that's the um, sort of obvious interpretation of that. That mixed with this, to me, um, might mean that an old way is ending when it comes to love and something new is being born, okay? Let's get more, okay? <laughs> Clear idea it's Archangel Raguel. Raguel is the archangel that tells us to play nice with one another. In all seriousness, Raguel helps us understand the other person's side. Helps us understand empathy. Helps us see through, you know, people who would try to present themselves as the victim, helping us to see through that. Raguel helps us understand who genuinely deserves our empathy, right? And who is trying to play on our empathy, who is trying to take advantage of our kindness or more than anything, who is trying to present as if they are this kind, good person, but they just know to mimic what other people are doing. Okay. So that's where I give all this is clear sentience. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Now, for some of you, if this is feeling like a love reading to you with how do you feel, the old way is ending. There could be some soulmate energies coming in. If you, you know, use that term, you need to get a reading. Okay. Now you don't have to get a reading with me. Just make sure whoever you go to is high frequency and ethical. Yes. Do whatever esoteric art feels right to you. Of course, if you want a reading with me, that's that angel souls 444.com. You can sign up for a reading there, but this whole thing, we're feeling out where we need to go. This is probably a week of disastrous revelations. You might wake up and realize, oh my gosh, I have been carrying this hurt around with me. Or I've been carrying um, this hatred with me. I've been unfair. I've been whatever, like jumping to conclusions. Or something that you thought you believed in. Now you're stepping back and going, oh, neither option was the real option. I have to be over here. Then we have courage, Archangel Ariel. Ariel's all about detoxification, nature, grounding, uh, helping us in our 3D world. And nature angels, which some refer to as fairies. She's known to be associated with that. All right. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. I just heard cracking the code. We're, we're kind of cracking the code if you're in the state of allowing it. Now, if you're very egotistical, vapid even, if you're just, just tell me the fun stuff on the surface and that's all I want and just tell me more about that soulmate. Is my soulmate coming in? If you ask that, the answer is no, okay? Because when you're truly ready for what we call a soulmate, you're off living your life. You're not worried about it. You're not questioning it constantly. When you get to the place where you are comfortable in your own skin and you don't need outside validation from someone else, you don't feel like you need to be a part of a partnership to be valuable. That's when the love usually comes in. Okay. <laughs> so for some of you, it's like, Hey, pay attention to what you really need to know for yourself. Are you barking up the wrong tree here by pursuing something? But in a worldwide sense, something is really, we're being called back to authentic expression of love. And that authentic expression of love, yes, it does pertain to world events because, you know, who are we sending our love to? Who are we sending good energy to? If you're picking sides, have the courage to stand up for what you really believe in. As I said in one of my videos, I'm always on the side of innocence. And that's not always going to be obvious who the innocents are. 
So we have Rose. I think we had this last week too. Attract a relationship. Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm going to end up getting married this week. You guys think? Maybe? <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. I assure you I will not. But maybe a relationship. That could be fun. We have the number six on here. So as I explained in whatever video that was, if it was last week or the week before, Rose attracts in angels, angelic blessings, it's a very high frequency scent. So people can have a negative association with this. I've heard plenty of people say, oh my gosh, it smells like my grandma. Well, did you hate your grandma? What's with the disdain? Okay. <laughs> but also if you don't like the scent of rose, okay, maybe you're allergic to it, like flowers or something. That's fine. But if you really just, you don't know why you don't like it, that's a low frequency. I know I made it sound like if you don't like the scent of rose, you're a bad person. I'm not trying to say that, but you need to examine it. Okay. Because this is a good thing. <laughs> this is a good thing coming in. So this is also very associated with Archangel Barachiel. Uh, Barachiel is all about bringing you blessings, opening up pathways in your life, making sure you're nourished. I just did a reading with someone where the presence of Barachiel was everywhere. So, hi, this is especially for you. I don't know if you're okay with me saying your name in the video, but you know who you are. Uh, and it's here again. But that number six, we need to talk about that because the number six is the material world. Okay. I said that Archangel Ariel helps with manifestation. We have the 1111 portal coming up. There's something about what we go after or what we're trying to create in this world that's not of the purest vibration. It's not of the highest love, if you want to see it that way. And so we have to let the old way die in a way. And somehow, some way this week, they're calling it a snapping. So there's a snapping. Now that doesn't have to be a bad thing. That could be people snapping out of it. It could be people having this snap moment of, we're not playing these games anymore, right? We're not doing this anymore. Now it's going to be messy. I would call it clunky. Okay. Clunky, messy. It's not going to be great for everybody. But that's okay. That's why we're going to break it down into the 12 signs. And if you guys don't know, I'm not an astrologer. So to like rattle off the signs in order. Oh my. So I have my little list here. <laughs> so we'll make sure we don't miss anybody. But make sure you're watching for your sun, moon, rising. You can watch your Venus sign as well. Go to one of these astrology sites. You can pull up your chart. It's a whole thing. And it's cool. I just never studied astrology because it's hard. Okay, so this is calling for a little bit of, like I said, courage, uh, getting back in touch in the soulmate thing. When we think of soulmates, that's an authentic connection to another person. That doesn't have to be romantic. So there's something in the material world that is manifesting that we're realizing doesn't have, we don't have a real connection to it. It's not serving us. And that's going to have to invoke some change. So we'll see about that. Okay, so let's get on to the signs. Okay, Aries, for this week, you have Breathe, Archangel Raphael. Take a beat. The stress is getting to you, and the stress is self-imposed, they're saying. That means you're reading too much into things, maybe making too much of it, or being so fearful that you're compounding the problem because of the fear. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. This is your time. If you don't stop and release those old patterns, you're going to have a bad time, okay? <laughs> don't be doing this to yourself. If you find yourself, for example, jumping to conclusions or assuming the worst and it gets your heartbeat going, breathe. This can also be a signal for you to meditate. Take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves. That thing that you got a lot of tension around, it doesn't necessarily have to go poorly and even if somebody is trying to make it go poorly for you you don't have to listen to them okay it's okay examine how you're responding to things Taurus you have gentleness you need to calm down too apparently I don't know <laughs> Archangel Sandalfin so Sandalfin is about helping us be in alignment uh, have our frequencies attuned he's known uh, and associated with uh, music and sound healing uh, and to be very, very grounded, having our chakras all aligned. All right, it says, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So let's not take that too 
literally. Let's not act like we're so precious and everyone else has a filthy energy and we just can't be around them because that's not nice. Okay, so that's not what we're talking about here. If you have someone who is known, they're just an energy vampire, you don't have to spend time with them. Or even if you don't spend time with them, maybe you've gone no contact with them, but they're still trying to get into your energy field. Sanofin helps you ground it out. That way they can't get to you. All right. And attuning yourself with sound frequencies, very big thing for you to be doing this week to stay grounded. Okay. Gemini, you are overcoming difficulties. We have Archangel Jeremiah. When Jeremiah pops up, Jeremiah has you do a life review. Now that might be a life review because you keep doing stupid things. I've been there. Okay. <laughs> Or it could be a life review of, I've already learned this lesson. Why am I repeating it? Right? So we had in the general message, you know, a lot of soulmate energy coming up, connection with others. Raguel was showing up there. So this might be an assessment of what keeps, what keeps going around and around and around. Okay? The worst is now behind you. You are surmounting any previous challenges. So take a beat. Take a breath. You don't have to keep struggling. I think for you this week, that's what this is saying. Don't overthink it. You do not need to keep struggling. If you're going to be doing any sort of self-examination, don't beat yourself up by what comes up. Okay. So cancer for you, we got the hello from heaven again. So you might be missing someone this week. Let me make it clear. This does not mean anyone's going to die. You know, you know what I'm saying? But there is something interesting where... The more and more things are happening in the world, the more, the closer our loved ones are getting. It's like they're trying to watch over us from the other side. And of course, angels are coming in. Spirit guides are here very close. So this is Osriel. For some of you, this is letting go of grief or you're getting to a new place in your grieving process. Now, that doesn't necessarily have to mean a loss of a person per se. This could talk about the loss of your youth. I've been seeing this quite a bit, you know, where people are having midlife crises at 25. That's like quarter life crises. By the time, if you're 25 now, by the time, you know, you're getting into your 80s and 90s, life expectancy might be 120. You don't know, right? So this is, you're going through a transformation. You don't have to mourn the loss of like, like you might think your youth or whatever, you're transforming. All that's still there with you. You're just implementing and integrating it into this new version of you, right? And letting something else bloom and blossom. So it's not a bad thing. Okay. All right. So this says your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Okay. So then we have Leo. Leo, for you, we have healthy lifestyle. You need to cool it. Okay. Are you partying? Now, it doesn't have to be everyone's definition of partying. My definition of partying is having like crepes and coffee and like watching my favorite TV show. That That's the life, okay? <laughs> that's it. But probably not great for me. You know what I mean? All right, so this is Archangel Raphael who's all about health. Now, what's interesting, and I don't think I said this. Oh, shoot, I put those cards away. In the general message, did we have Raphael come up? If you guys are seeing this and you remember that, I've been doing a few readings since then, so I don't remember. If Raphael came up, Raphael's also about soulmates. He also helps with travel, if you're going to be traveling. He helps with a lot. And getting back into your spiritual practice, he can help with all that. But you need to watch what you're putting in your body, okay? Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. Why? Why? What's going on here? Because you need to have your wits about you, okay? (laughs) And if you, to handle whatever is to come in your life. So if you haven't been feeling good, you're not going to think straight, right? This also is a message for some of you out there to embrace where you are now. I just gave a reading to someone. We were talking about that. Your body is morphing and changing. So is your mind. So is your heart. You know, your soul is getting you onto this next chapter, Embrace where you are. Don't be looking back and going, oh, I should have, could have, would have. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So then Virgo, we have teaching and learning. This is Archangel Zadkiel. Zadkiel is very associated with uh, sort of like a St. Germain energy. So the violet flame, 
violet flame meditation, letting go of what no longer serves you, transmutation. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. That is the big one for you this week. Something's going to challenge your thinking. Something's really going to challenge your approach. So someone might say, why do you do it that way? You make it way harder on yourself. And you're like, nah, I got this. I can't tell me nothing, right? So (laughs) open up, try something new. It's okay if you don't know everything, right? All right, keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. I, I just thought of a funny example. Like I know some Virgos, they have their set way of doing things and you can't get them to try it. They'll be making it as hard as possible. They're like using Pony Express to get a letter somewhere. And you're like, you know, there's an email. And they're like, oh, don't tell me about the email stuff. I can't. That, that's not a real example. I made that up. But like, <laughs> it's just an example. Don't make things so hard on yourselves. And what's funny is I think you guys are going to discover an easier way to approach things this week. And then you're going to like, like scream it from the rooftops. Like, did you guys know that you don't have to struggle with the Pony Express? Did you know there's this thing called email? It's one of those things. Okay. So then we have Libra sensitivity. I feel like for a lot of you, there's been a lot of push pull, maybe a lot of letdowns. I think I'm going and then something disappoints. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm, uh, this job looks promising, it falls apart. Or this relationship looks promising, it falls apart. This is Archangel Haniel showing up for you this week. And Haniel is very associated with moon phases. Again, intuition, the divine feminine, um, balancing. She's actually in charge of hormones as well. So bear that in mind. If you are in a certain stage in your life or... If you are experiencing pregnancy or menopause or, you know, any kind of hormonal shifts, you can actually call on Archangel Haniel to help smooth that out, okay? And check with a doctor, of course. So you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. This is sort of licking your wounds this week. This might come with a little bit of a pity party. Now, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. Okay, I'm putting it that way, maybe for a laugh. If it falls flat, I'm sorry, okay? But this is telling you to feel your feels, <laughs> okay? Like, get in there. If you're feeling, if you, you're feeling pity for yourself, I mean, we don't want you living in the pity, right? But be authentic. Don't pretend like something's not there just so you seem more spiritual, okay? Tune in with Archangel Haniel. Have her show you what's still lingering there what still kind of holds you back what what what's there that you haven't looked at or admitted to yourself that will become clear this week okay so then we have scorpio divine order i'm a scorpio i'm a stellium scorpio actually taurus rising cancer moon okay <laughs> people ask me that in the comments and i see it but Sometimes I'm like, oh, I, I got to come back later and give a proper response to that. And then I don't do it. I forget. And I am so sorry. Okay. Anyway, divine order. This is Archangel Raguel. Scorpios, we get this reputation for being, I don't know, dark, mouthy. Well, maybe we're a little mouthy, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Maybe more people need to be like Scorpios. I said it, okay? <laughs> How often have you been the only one to stand up for somebody in a situation while everybody else is just being a coward, right? So it doesn't have to be a bad thing, but we get this reputation for not being able to get along very well with others or that we're manipulative and blah, you know, all this stuff. Ragua comes in. Do you like the sound effects? Ragua comes in and says, no, you're recognizing how you interact with other people and there's a little bit of a release of guilt this week so if someone is like you're too sharp-tongued and you're you're just oh you're so cruel now you have to examine that are you being cruel you know people will hear you without you stabbing them with your words all right but if it's more of a thing of like someone just has a super weak ego and they you you can't say anything to them without you know what I'm saying? Like that's, you can release the guilt around that. You don't need to carry that with you. Everything is how it needs to be right now. 
look past the illusion and see underlying order. Scorpios, you might find that you're in a lull this week or one weird circumstance after that. I had something very, very perplexing that happened yesterday. Something went down and um, it was wild. So there might be some of that going on this week. But what it's teaching you is it's teaching you, you know, I want to say, because I always see the scales here and they're imbalanced. They're out of balance. So that is a message for us as well. But it might just seem on the surface like we're not making any progress. You have all these projects you want to do, but nothing's getting done. Yet your heart isn't there with it, with the project. And just when you're thinking like, ugh, enough, something breaks through. So give yourself a chance this week to wind down if you need to. All is not lost. Okay? So we have Sagittarius. Relationship harmony. We've got Raguel here a lot. Okay? So if you have time, even if it's not your sign, listen to the other signs. <laughs> like he really keeps coming up here. And he's all about uh, getting along with people or how we relate to others. So there's some examination there for you. Where have you been f fair or unfair? Right? Like you can't get away with nothing anymore. Okay. So just give that in mind. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So if you have had uh, some bit of turmoil with someone in your life, when we say this is coming to a resolution, that doesn't equate necessarily to you getting your own way. There might be some hard realization about yourself. Like, you know. If you've betrayed someone, well, there are consequences for that. Have you, you know, not been honest? There will be consequences for that. So this relationship harmony might come with you having to really be honest about what you bring to the table. Okay. So then we have Capricorn moon cycle. So we have Haniel here. Haniel came up for another sign. Haniel is very associated with the moon, intuition, emotions, the divine feminine. Okay. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations. We have 1111 coming up. Okay. All about the manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. I believe there's a new moon. Again, I'm doing these signs, but I'm not an astrologer. Y'all I do angel readings. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're bringing the worlds together. That's fine. But I do believe there is a new moon. What on the 12th, the 13th, something like, no, the 13th. Um, because it's the day after my birthday. My birthday's on the 12th. People, and I only say that because people have asked. It's November 12th is my birthday. Um, but this is saying that th there's a new moon here. There's a fresh start. But then th that fresh start comes with letting go. So first, leading up to that, you need to let go of something. And pay attention to what your energy is doing around this time. Because if you're trying to push to manifest something that is not right for you, <laughs> it's not okay for you, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel like you need to go in another direction. Listen to that. Okay. So Aquarius, we have prioritized. You are overworked, overstressed. People take advantage of you. You're learning how to not let that happen. Now we have Metatron here. Metatron. Metatron's very associated with 1111. We have the 1111 energy portal that is coming up. So be working with Metatron, okay? He's really nice for a lot of things. So if you have to, to work with for a lot of things. So if you have to take a test, give a presentation. If you're a writer, if you're a writer, be working with Metatron and Gabriel, okay? And Cassio, Archangel Cassio, you can bring that angel in as well. So this says, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. So Metatron is also, the reason why he's here is he's associated with time management. My camera shut off. Right in the middle of your message. How dare it do such a thing? Metatron, I, I think I was saying, is very associated with time management and uh, upgrading your frequency. So this is a time where the only way this is going to happen for you, this good stuff, is if you realize the stuff that or you acknowledge the stuff that you have been denying for a very long time. Okay. You can't do everything all at once. You can't be everything to everyone. You have to give your heart a break here. And that's what this is telling you. Okay. Pisces, you have life review with Archangel Jeremiah. That is what he's in charge of helping you stop, evaluate, see where you've been, where you're headed. 
Uh, Jeremiah can also be associated with past lives, I suppose, but here I think this is more just taking a, a viewpoint of what you've already been through. Take inventory of your life, there you go, uh, and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. This is an accountability card, okay? Now that doesn't have to be a horrible process or a horrible experience, but this life review does have you going, you know what, I could have been gentler in this situation. You know, that didn't happen because I gave up on it. Or it's not because of someone else that I don't enjoy my work. I don't enjoy my work because I come to work with a bad attitude. Right? I mean, whatever the life review entails, this is a breakthrough opportunity for you if you take it. So we're going to leave it there for everybody for this week. I love y'all so much. Go ahead, leave your comments down below. Let me know how your week is going. And that's it. Take care.